What's up everybody? It's uh, getting close to noon on Sunday, January the 14th, and uh, I wanted to make a quick uh, update and informational video about our book of North Carolina $30 Extreme Millions. Now, I had made a video, I think it was Thursday, may have been Wednesday, it said if I can fill this up by Friday at noon, I'll be able to do it this weekend. And I meant that. Unfortunately, we were not able to fill it up by Friday at noon. We filled it up on Saturday about noon. Now, the way PayPal works, I know most of you guys have it. Uh, if you uh, transfer money from your PayPal into your bank account, it normally shows up the next day if the next day is a business day for your bank. Things that I transfer from my PayPal to my bank at 6, 7 o'clock at night, normally during the week they will show up the next day when i log on in the morning it's there but if it is a friday and you transfer something over there after two o'clock it's probably not going to show up until monday it may show up on saturday if that's a normal business day for your bank now my bank wells fargo happens to be open on saturday in some branches but some branches aren't so therefore it's really not a normal business day we were uh, about uh, two thirds of the way full when I'd made that. And you know, I said if we were be able to uh, do it on uh, this weekend, I'll have to have it filled up by Friday. We weren't able to, so unfortunately, uh, I'm not able to get that book. Uh, reason being, I can only draw out $300 a day from the ATM machine. That would be, I would have had to draw out 300 yesterday, 300 today, and then that's 300 more tomorrow out of my own personal bank and you know i could do that and then just pay myself back when all the money actually hits but i really don't like doing that and i actually could get the money to show up in my account automatically if you pay like the little fee it's like 79 cents or something every time you uh do a paypal transaction it goes right to your debit card but i don't like paying those silly little fees on stuff like that so it's not going to be done today not because I, I just simply don't have the funds to go get it i don't have 900 dollars just at my disposal it's where it's supposed to be it's in the bank i don't have a mason jar buried out back and i don't have a stash somewhere so we're not going to be able to do that today, but that's okay because I want to make a road trip probably Wednesday to go get this book. And I want to go somewhere else in North Carolina, not to the mountains. I want to go to the mountains to buy the book. I want to go somewhere that uh, more winners have been sold, perhaps somewhere in the Charlotte area. Perhaps I shall reach out to Mr. R. Kelly and see if uh, he knows of a uh, really good spot that we might be able to go pick that up at. So Wednesday, you're talking about me. I'm probably going to be, it'll be two hours to go get it, two hours to get back, you know, with traffic and all that stuff, and then however much time to get the book. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to go live and scratch that off on Wednesday evening either because I just don't want to devote the whole entire day to this book my one day off that I get, I'm not going to vote the in, entire day to the book. I'll probably be going live. Most likely we can go ahead and pencil it in on Thursday evening. It's 30 tickets. I'll probably do 15 in one live session, take a break and then do 15 more. Cause I can't, I can't do all those. And that thing would end up being probably two hours long as big as those tickets are. Uh, it would probably be two hours long, and I'm kind of meticulous with them. I take my time and, and look over that stuff. So I hate to disappoint anybody that actually thought we were going to be able to do it this time. I had hopes that we'd be able to, but we needed to fill it sooner in order to do that. So we're just not going to be able to. But we're good. Hey, something to look forward to, right? And it keeps you in suspense. Now, let me show you this ticket that I found today. $5 ticket that I scratched that I just purchased inside the 7-Eleven. Let's take it away, shall we? We're there. A $5 Money Madness from the South Carolina Lottery. This is uh, that game that we liked so much. We did the group scratch on. And did well on. And I was trying to get another book of them from my lottery rep. But he hadn't been around the store I go to in probably two or three weeks. I hadn't seen him. So this game actually is going to be pulled on Wednesday. And for most likely going to be pulled with one jackpot left. That's sad. 3, 8, 18, and 27. The Madness symbol wins instantly in a 5 extra 5 times. I found it here in this obscure 7-Eleven down in uh, 
uh, Pelzer, South Carolina, uh, between, uh, it's actually closer to Anderson, South Carolina, out in the country. Yep, it is going to be pulled on Wednesday. Been out since August of 2016. I just couldn't leave it around long enough for somebody to hit that jackpotus. But you never know. Somebody could in the next two days. Unfortunately, it's not going to be us here today. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, stay tuned for some more videos. And... Uh, Ultimate Millions, not Ultimate Millions, that's over with. Extreme Millions be coming up this week. Hope you're looking forward to it, and I hope you're looking as forward to watching it as I am to scratching it. I'll see you all later. Peace.